Aaron was someone that he was a very joyful person. And he had one of those laughs, you know, those laughs that when you hear it, you have to laugh. And it was just a big, deep down belly laugh and he would laugh the hardest at his own jokes. Um, <laughs> and you could tell when he was about to laugh because he'd slap the table and just take off with I'm it. Like, I'm watching the video, I'm like, I thought I, I, thought I was in it. I thought I was in this video. <laughs> <laughs> we think about that day and kind of get locked into it. You know, you keep reliving it, and that was hands down the worst day of my life. A multi car pileup in North Texas has killed at least six people. Again, you can see this massive wreck that has happened uh, on 35 there involving at least a hundred. That morning, um, I left before he did. Um, but he was awake, so I got to give him a hug and a kiss before we left. And um, we usually talked, like he would call me when he was on his way into work. Um, and I, I didn't hear from him. I looked on um, a location app and saw that he'd been sitting on the highway in the same spot for, at that point, about 15 minutes. We've started hearing about um, a couple of different accidents, and then we had heard about this one that was happening, and when we went to the reunification center, no one could tell us where he was or if he had been located, if he was okay, was he injured, what, we didn't know anything. So after everyone had come to the reunification center and left, um, and they said there weren't any more buses coming in with people. Um, we came home and just waited to hear that he was okay, that he just, he just lost his phone in the crash and he just couldn't get a hold of us and he was coming home. And um, one of my friends that was with us at the Unification Center started going to the different hospitals that she had heard that people were being bused to. And um, after the last one, um, she went to the medical examiner's office. And she was able to come here and tell me in person that, um, that he had passed away. Losing Aaron was and is such a tremendous loss. Um, I will say that there was time and opportunity to treat the roads to prevent this plenty of time and plenty of opportunity, and it, it wasn't done. And my husband was needlessly killed because of it. And that's really, that's really where, where it ends for me. It shouldn't have happened.